Dress shirts. Sunblock. Swaddling blankets. So the truth is, I wanted to go to some African country. He wanted a country where they don't kill Americans. <laughs> so we basically took the map and ended up on picking Ethiopia. This is the first trip to Ethiopia. I said we're gonna go to vacation in Ethiopia. We didn't really know what we were doing. We grabbed a travel book from the library on the way to the airport and just went. And then after touring around for a week or 10 days, we said, let's see what they do in engineering. And we sent email to their engineering department saying, can we come and give a talk? And they said yes, so we went. You know, even though it's a foreign place, computer people are computer people, right? They hang out on Reddit, I hang out on Reddit. They want to know what the next Star Wars movie is about. I want to know what the next Star Wars movie is about. You know, they run Linux, I run Linux. And she is actually, she also... During that first visit, we will end up visiting the department and meeting the department chair, meeting some students, meeting some of their faculty. But then when the time for our sabbatical came up, we thought, instead of going to Google, why don't we go to Ethiopia, which is, seems much more interesting and, you know, opportunity. So we connect with them. They provided an apartment for us to live. And we spent a semester there teaching classes, uh, you know, trying to start collaboration with the students, with the other faculty. It has singular points at x to what? Plus or minus one. But at x to zero, it is what? An orderly point. So we can have a solution in series four. I remember when I was a child, my grandma would say, eat your soup, there's children starving in Ethiopia. Uh, and there definitely are children starving in Ethiopia, absolutely. But, you know, this image you have when you're young of a place with, you know, just abject poverty and super hot sand everywhere, it, first of all, the weather in Addis is exquisite. It's like San Diego. It is 72 to 75 yeah, it's bad. It never every gets day of the it. year. Yeah except during the rainy season, which everybody apologizes for every hour of the day, and it rains like one hour a day. It seems yeah. quite And it's nice. 68. Yes. <laughs> it's definitely a growing, vibrant economy. You just can look out on the skyline and you'll see construction everywhere. And businesses. Especially the Germans and the Chinese are investing extremely heavily in the country right now. The thing that's happening there that's affecting them is the opportunity for education is growing dramatically. Over the last about 10 years, the Ethiopian government has been heavily investing in expanding their university system to many cities, also expanding their facilities in Addis Ababa, the main capital of the country. And that investment is in particular to service that growing economy. If they were to develop this place into an IT manufacturing powerhouse, it would certainly be a wonderful place to visit and spend time. <laughs>